Oh, maybe is it because... Okay, now I'm afraid if I disconnect this. It's got no power. Why does it have no power? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some NID action on Space Engineers. So today, we're going to do a little buildy-buildy, but uh, first I should show you what's, what's happened here. Now, there's, there's definitely some other people on the server today. Uh, you can see it's uh, self Sal and Boris Preption is on here and they're chatting back and forth and uh in my prep i've just been glancing up at it every once in a while and it's been quite hilarious so we'll see if it continues that way or not so you guys might have a little fun reading those comments as we go here but uh we'll see uh so i've done a little work on here let me turn my lights on uh so i guess first and foremost you might notice that things look a little different i am using the dx11 update um, I tried using it, uh, like I think I mentioned this, I tried using it uh, in the past as well, but it was uh, really buggy, causing me to freeze up in the whole nine yards. Um, there was, in the last update, there was a, two or three mentioned bug fixes for it, and so I actually switched back to it for the live stream I did on the weekend, and it seemed to work really well. The only problem, of course, is the light. So, and that's something I was worried about, right? If it was gonna be too dark. So you guys let me know what you think as we do this episode, if it's too dark, um, I will try to remember to always have my my light on. <laughs> I did that. I made that mistake in a in a, an episode of uh, what is it? Uh, Motley Space Crew, where I didn't have it on. It was pitch black. So, like here, you can see it gets really dark with the light. But if I turn my light back on, I should be able to see most of what's around me. Um, but I am gonna have to build a lot more with lighting, right? So that's gonna be a thing going forward. But anyhow, so here is what we've got for my construction area at the moment, right? So I've upgraded this a little bit. I moved the assemblers off to the right, added in another cargo container. And I've got this actually, I think, set up pretty well now. So basically, whenever I need anything, I just come to this cargo container and it should have all the components that I need. This container is also where I hook my drilling ship up and it drops everything into there. From there, this guy sorts out, um, he basically says stone isn't allowed through, but everything else is. I also have down here a little cargo container that has just stone in it. And this guy basically says only allow stone. So, right, so whitelist only stone. So basically that just means that any stone that I pick up when I'm, when I'm, uh, out and about doing my mining will go straight down into this this cargo container if for whatever reason this cargo container gets full now i can do this with programming later but for now like if this gets full of stone it'll just be here if i need it but if i don't if this gets full i what i'm going to do basically is just eject it that's why this is here it's just going to eject it out into space um and i should automate that in the future to say like you know when it's i wonder if you can do that i'll have to check that out like if that thing gets full to just eject because i don't want any stone in here um, so yeah, so then any, anything that goes into there is allowed to go into here, but of course refineries only let in ore, right? So only the ore will come into here and any excess ore will just stay in here until it's ready to be processed. Then over here, I basically say whitelist only ingots. So now that means that all the other stuff that was allowed through here, like it won't use the refinery as a, a way to get over to here, right? So I only let ingots out of here and into here. So that means that in here, it should just be ingots, like it is. And then this guy is feeding all of these um, assemblers, which then wrap around back to the main cargo container at the beginning. Over here. Uh, beep, right? And this one only allows uh, ingots and ore, or no, sorry, blacklists ingots and ore. So they're not allowed to come back around. So once they've, once it, um, ore goes into here, it stays in here. Uh, and then once the ingots are produced in here, they stay in here. They don't, they're not allowed back around. But anything else that for whatever reason, maybe somebody dumps something in here, then it'll go back around. And of course, all components that get built are automatically pulled through. And I think that all of these were set to uh, drain all um, you guys probably saw that, but I'm, it is, basically, it should be anyway, and because it's working. And I finally got a system with that set up that things aren't jumping in and out of here constantly, like they have been in the past. So 
really happy about that. So now basically, I normally just use this one all the time. I come over here and I just say, you know, hey production, I'd like some computers, right? It starts building them up and then they just appear in here. Whenever, yeah, so you'll see these starting to go up. Boop, boop, right? So everything just appears in here as I need it. And I love it. I've got the, um, a large projector here that I used before to show you guys the, the ship that I want to build in there. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, and then here, I've got a small one hooked up in the way that I do. This is the method that I like the most this, at this point because it doesn't require using um, things like connectors and stuff, right? It's all nicely secure and you don't have to worry about it running out of power. But yeah, it's basically just a small rotor head with, or sorry, a large rotor head on a station base connected to a small rotor head, which you just, you know, landing gear, small rotor, kill the landing gear, kill the bottom, knock it in with uh, the attach, and then throw the projector on top. <clears throat> and this is what we're gonna use today. But uh, first I should show you, if you didn't watch the live stream, and I apologize, I'm, I'm just kind of doing live streams these days whenever I have a moment and have a chance, so I can't really give much uh, notice. And look at that, see it's getting dark, dark, dark. <laughs> can't see a thing. Let's go somewhere maybe where we can. Okay, it's lighting up a bit over here. There we go. Um, but yeah, in the live stream, I worked on this with Nordic Beast and Self for Cell. She, she was over here a little bit in the beginning and the Nordic st stuck around and helped me out um, actually building all of this. So we've got, this is the basic idea of what I was talking about before. So we've got all of the, um, the pistons with the welders on the end and they're all hooked up behind here with uh, conveyors all the way along um, on the bottom as well. I ran out of uh, construction components in the stream so we stopped. <laughs> and that, so those need to get finished right there. Um, and the last thing that I was doing was over here, there is a timer block because I was about to start to get ready to say, test out the expansion of these things out to the center, but I haven't done that yet. So over here, if we go back to this guy, uh, you see also this is Nordic's ship. So he was using this to help light the way as well as we were playing. So I may need to do, make some like lighting bots. Actually, one of the ideas I had is maybe, I want to get Wheatley back into this world but having a follow me cargo drone maybe isn't um, so useful anymore. Mm, maybe it is, uh, but uh, especially if I have ships and stuff all ready to go, but Wheatley could be a follow me lighting drone. Uh -huh. So maybe we'll do that. Anyhow, what I would like to do in this episode is I've been building and welding all of this by hand. Uh, Nordic did show up with his welding ship in the stream and he helped quite a bit. Um, and it's time to make a welding ship if I'm going to be making things this big. So let's go into the projector, the small one. And I only know that because it's the different color and of course it's on a separate uh, grid, right? So I'll turn this on. I've already loaded in my blueprint and here we go. It's nothing special, but I did design this really quickly in creative just to make sure everything was hooked up right. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just reading comments myself every once in a while. Um, but yeah, so you'll see, let's just build this guy up and let's see what we need. I'm, and it's really close to the cargo container, so that's always awesome. Let's start off with uh, just some of these. We'll probably need some of these um, as a good starting point. So you guys are probably reading the comments more than I am because I'm actually talking and paying attention to what I'm doing. Um, Alright, so then let's build the center out. So what does it take to make you? Why are you not letting me build you? Okay, we'll build you. Interior plates. One of the downsides to having your head off. <laughs> uh, so let's grab some of those. We probably need some of these. Oh, and that's all the smalls we have. Let's get those. And this is what I like. I see what I need, right? And I go, all right, I need some small teal tubes. Just build those up. And then I walk away. And then they're just waiting for me when I get back. I like it. Um, so we build this now. So this still needs motors, displays, computers. And there they are. See? Ha ha ha. Uh, motors, display, bulletproof we needed, displays we needed, computers. Okay. There we go. Uh, but yeah, so like fill this guy up. So this is the cockpit. And 
I guess we can just build from this all the way around. So this guy's going to be pretty simple to build because he really doesn't have um, a whole lot kind of around him, right? And that's been one of the problems that I've had with uh, building blueprints is when you have layers upon layers of things that they uh, that you you miss stuff, right? Inside, which always stinks. There we go. So here's an example of like there would be something inside here. So I need to get that oxygen tank. Probably get it on the other side too. But uh, uh, what do we need here? Some construction components. So uh, while I'm building this, I guess I should mention a couple of thank yous. So um, actually, Redstone One uh, chatted to me in a couple episodes episodes ago in episode two. Um, we're in four, I believe, right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, of course. Um, I, I will be distracted by that from time to time. I apologize. Um, but uh, and I think they're doing it on purpose. They know I'm recording. But um, uh, yeah, Redstone One was saying that uh, the yeah the DX11 stuff was was kind of buggy for him too, and some of the people he knows. Um, we were a little bit of back and forth about that, and we weren't sure you know when when I'd be able to try it again. But I've actually been pretty happy that. Uh, what do I need over here? Thruster components. Um, been really happy actually that uh, that they fixed it. Um, they didn't do it in the first one, but in the second update after they released it, they uh, they did. Do I have any? I don't think I do have any. Let's go production. You're still building those. So let's go right, thruster components. Let's make some of them. There we go. And I only need a few, I think. So let's just grab what we've got so far. But, uh, but yeah, so that was, we had a little bit of a chat back and forth about that. We weren't really sure when, when it was going to be around and ready to be, to try it again. Um, Nordic has been using it for a while now and been having no trouble with it, even right from the beginning. So I thought after the update came out saying that they fixed it a little bit, I'd give it a go again. And I'm really happy that it's, that it's working. And I hope that it's, uh, not too dark for you guys, because I think it actually does look a lot nicer like the asteroids look cool the the shadowing and stuff like it just it looks it's a lot nicer to play the the sky box looks actually a lot better the asteroids look a lot nicer like everything just like and and the look of all of these things right like i don't know everything just looks better so i do want to use it so let me know if uh but if it's too dark and it's bad for youtube just let me know let me know i'll see what you guys say anyway i've rambled on about that long enough uh the other thing that i should say too is there was a really good conversation in the last episode, episode three, um, where Boris and I were building this together. Um, and I, had a, I got a couple of comments from different people uh, talking about suggestions about what I could do. And I want to really, you know, a huge thank you for you guys talking about all that kind of stuff and giving me some ideas. So first let's go, here, let me get some small, oh, it's shaking, ah, small tubes, oh, I missed. Uh, we need some of these, but, um, but yeah. So I had was it David? And I'm, I'm again. I'm really sorry uh, if I butcher anybody's name. I don't mean to. I'm just really bad at names. <laughs> so if I do, I am very sorry. But David uh, Arg Arg Argur Argur. <laughs> and again, I know I butchered the hell out of that. I'm so sorry. He's, uh, so he he really likes the design. Uh, he pointed out a couple of things that might be a problem, like. Uh, the waypoint system using the ship and putting a waypoint on, on either side of it, right? Uh, because they will go at like full speed, I believe, right? So we need Raptor and Metal Rids. Um, so it'll go through far too fast, basically. So we need to devise a way to slow it down. He had a couple of ideas, um, and so did uh, JR. Uh, he was saying that we could chain uh, waypoints, stop points, right? Um, along the way, where it like moves a little bit, stops, let it weld, moves a little bit, stops, let it weld. Um, I've forgotten what I need now. Uh, oh crap. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we'll see here. What's this need? Oh, reactor components. Okay. I don't think I've made any of those at the moment, so let's, let's make some reactor components. Oh, I guess that one's done. Uh, let's build some of those up. And we'll come around back here when it's time. Uh, but yeah, so waypoint like you know allowing it to go you know a little bit through stop 
a little bit through stop, a little bit through stop. So that's a really cool idea. Also, uh, David was saying that, uh, I mean, there's a couple of other ideas too, like uh, maybe actually making the tug ship so that it, um, it's like super heavy maybe, and it just slowly goes through, like it's max thrust is, is just really, uh, what's going on here? It's max thrust is, need large tilt tubes, okay. Um, just doesn't allow it to go very fast. That's an, a possibility. Also, uh, the another idea that he had was uh, Energy. allowing it to coast through. Oh, I better go. And I like this one too. Um, basically, allowing it, you know, basically uh, get it into place with waypoints. Uh, then use maybe like one thruster just to get it going, and then turn off the thrusters and turn off dampeners and just let it slowly coast through, right? And that actually, I think, has a lot of potential as well. Like all of them have. I, I like that I've got multiple options now about how to do the tug. That's that's great. So thank you, David, and thank you, Jay, so much for the for the uh, options there. I really appreciate them. And I'm going to try them out and see which one works best. Oh, sure. Okay, we're done in here. Uh, but yeah, so thank you very much for all of that. Um, and also, while I was on the live stream on the weekend, what do I need here? Large. While I was on the... You know, let's just grab a bunch of those. Let's do them all up. Uh, uh, was it uh, Nordic Beast actually gave me some suggestions as well? Um, so he he wasn't talking about the tug so much, but he was basically wondering about the actual design of the of the thing as it's as it's here. Um, and he sent me um, an image from the uh, what is it the uh, the, 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 the <laughs> having a hard time uh, the, the the store thing. <laughs> Not really a story thing. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I can't remember the name of this. Um, uh, it'll come to me eventually, and you guys are already screaming it at the screen, or maybe commenting at this point. But um, but yeah, so it's a uh, workshop. There we go. In the workshop, it's uh, where somebody else had a design. What am I missing? Why won't you? Are you not done? I need interior plates again. Okay. Uh, but yeah, he was he get, he sent me this design that somebody else had done in the workshop, and now I don't have it up on my screen, I believe, right now to to reference it. So I'll definitely put a, a link in the comments for it. Um, but it's a really interesting design, and what did I need? Crap! This is what happens when you try and talk and shoot bubble gum at the same time. Interior plates I needed for that. Um, what I need? Thruster components and steel plates. Okay. So I have some steel plates in me now, and let's put those away. Some thruster components there. Um, but yeah, so the design that that he was showing me, and I didn't really understand it at the time when we were when we were talking about it just in the uh, in game because it was kind of a complicated um, idea. But it uh, it was super cool when I looked at it afterwards, and I'm like, oh man, okay, I really like how this looks and how this works. And I might want to refactor what I've been doing right now to allow for that change. Uh, I didn't grab interior plates. Man. Okay, and what do what are those batteries? Oh, they probably need power, power components or whatever they're called. Um, we might need today. I think I'm done with those. Uh, maybe those. Let's put a bit of those away those those and then I can grab some of these and uh, interior where are the interior plates I don't want to forget them again all right and then we wanted some power do I have any power power cells but um, I'll probably need way more than that for power cells but uh, let's finish this guy out there we go <laughs> that was easy but yeah, so the design for, yeah, so that just needs power cells now. And but yeah, the design for what we're talking about here, that uh, needs power cells, we need a lot of power cells for that, was basically the, um, instead of doing it the way I'm doing it right now, why won't you build? Build, thank you. I hate that bug actually, a lot. So I think, oh wait, we had, we had reactors down here that weren't done yet. Large steel tubes, of course. And 
So we need large scale tubes and power. <laughs> build! Why won't you build? What are you missing, if anything? There we go. That's so annoying, that bug. But yeah, basically the idea for that, um, the update I'm thinking about doing is instead of using like a million pistons with with uh, a power, we need power and we needed a steel tube. So let's put away this, this. Let's just put away everything at the moment and I'm gonna grab some of these and these because we always need those. Actually, no, let's just grab the power because where are the power? Oh, we need more than that anyway. Production. Oh, not medical components. Power cells. Uh, yeah, but basically, instead of doing it like we've done it here, where those those come out and they they weld from the middle, and then you have to like, you know, let the ship fly all the way through, let it expand out a bit, and then let it fly all the way back through, you know, and then back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, with it slowly opening up. Like that is going to take quite some time. But it was the only way that I could think of. Uh, of doing it at the time but this design and, and this is one of those things about you know like you use the game uh the features of the game in interesting and unexpected ways when people get their hands on it right and uh i think that the the idea that this guy came up with was just ingenious um oh i missed this what does this need construction okay we need a little bit of everything um let's finish this guy off did I finish it off? Oh, it was on the other side. Oh, we're missing a couple of things over here. Large. Large. Did I not? I thought I got large. No, I didn't. Uh, sorry about that. But but yeah, so the idea that this guy had, and I know I've been taking a long time getting this out. I, I apologize for that. Um, oh, and we also need some of these, some of these, um, we got some of those, probably need some of these, some of these, some of these, I imagine. But uh, the way that the guy had it worked out, so metal grids and reaction components, we'll come back to you, was that you actually build a wall of welders and then you just fly right through it, right? Like he had an entire base and stuff behind, behind the welders, like a, it was a ship I think that he had behind the welders. And, um, but the, uh, because the projector is, um, like it, it, it allows you to fly right, like it can go right through things, right? When it's a projection, it doesn't matter. So you actually can literally fly the projection through a structure, which didn't even occur to me. I don't know why it didn't occur to me, but it, it didn't even occur to me that that was, um, a possibility, uh, Oh, no, no, reactor components, not. It's a good thing I'm so close, huh? Uh, where is the... Yeah. There we go. So I think this is all finished off. But yeah, so the idea, the change that I'm thinking about making to this, and, and it will require a bit of rework of what I've already done, like grinding some stuff down, maybe. I actually probably can use less um, of the pistons, which... Uh, which seems to be a good idea anyway. Let's jump into the cockpit now and see if there's anything that's marked as not finished. Oh, of course. Uh, okay, nothing is red. Nothing is marked as unfinished. So I think that that's all good. So now we need to put in some, where is my reactor? Oops. And then let's fly over and I'll show you maybe more what I'm talking about. Oh wow, we've got. Let's leave that in there. We've got a ton just in this guy over here, don't we? Because we've been... Well, our uh, reactor uranium. Wow, wow, I got a lot of uranium. Okay, so let's just grab, say, 100 out of here. And I'm going to put a little bit, obviously, in the kickstarting one up here to get everything running. Let's just put... This is kind of like the uh, emergency one. So that goes in there. But now that that's in there, I should be able to just drop this in here and I'll go into all the other ones. Like the ones that I have attached to the, to 
these guys here. They should start getting power as well. I think. Hello. Okay, you've got power. You're on. Oh yeah, the thrusters are going. Oh, maybe is it because... Okay, now I'm afraid if I disconnect this. No power. Why does it have no power? Are you not done? Oh, don't hit it. Ah. You're finished. Oh crap, is it because it's, yeah, let's see here, production, no, info, no, inventory, make it me, no, it is all me, why, okay, why, <laughs> why are you not powered, what am I doing wrong here? You should have power. Okay, just a second guys, I'll be right back with this solved. Maybe you already know what I'm doing wrong, but I'll be right back. Okay guys, welcome back. I got it working. <laughs> and I also hooked it up to this cargo container on the side here, just barely hitting that, but, uh, and loaded it up with a few things like construction components. So let's just uh, turn that off. All right, flyway, everything works. So I just, um, obviously when I designed this, I had the uh, reactors off. <laughs> Um, so, they were off. <laughs> you guys probably noticed it, but it took me a minute to figure it out. Not that long. And then I just built that other stuff up really quick. But yeah, so now we can use it for the first time in here. Just finish this off. Uh, and it's super dark, so I should turn on the lights. There we go. Yeah, so here we go. Now you can actually finish this, this thing off. Is that actually going to let me get into there? This is what I mean by the darkness, though, guys. <laughs> And I might have to get into that other one by hand. Is there actually one even in there? There it is. Okay, got it. Ah, ha, ha. Um, but yeah, so the, the last thing I'll just wrap this up with as we build all of these things is uh, that this design might be a bit much. Like it might be, like I think it would work, but it, uh, I think it could be simpler based on what Nordic was saying. So. Here's the idea. I'll just wrap up with this. So instead of it having like a million of these like this, what I'm thinking of doing is instead changing it so that it still comes in and out like this, because I like that idea of it being a big open space. But instead of it just being a bunch of uh, these welders like that, that it actually would be a wall of welders that face one of the directions. So maybe all the welders face that way, right? Um, and then the, the wall comes out from the center on both sides. One comes down, one comes up. And then it basically is a, a makes a wall of welders that point that point this way, when it when it's all extended. So this will have to grow instead of it being this size. It might have to grow a little bit more, which is fine. There's there's room on the other side. And then uh, if I back this up, then we have the tug kind of sit here, right? And all of those other ideas that uh, David and Jay gave me as well would still work here, right? So we have a tug that sits here. It projects the um, out the back. It projects the ship. And then you fly through at a very, very slow pace, but, or, or I guess, sorry, you'd have to have the tug on the other side of the, oops, on the other, like before you open it up, you'd have to have the tug kind of situated just through. And then the doors would, the doors would come up, right? With the tug just on the other side, projecting the ship behind it. Oh, projecting the ship behind it. And then it would slowly fly through and all the welders would build up everything and you wouldn't have to do it. You, you could actually fly through it in one motion instead of having to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, right? So we just fly through slowly. Um, we could use any of those different systems, whatever one works the best. And it would just build the whole thing out in one fell swoop coming out the other side. It wouldn't have to go back and forth. So I like that idea a lot. So I think that's, I'm gonna try and retrofit this 
uh, design to that. And now that I've got a welding ship, this should be a lot quicker, hopefully, to do. So I hope you guys like my little welding bot. I um, named this guy. He's the little small guy. So I named him... Oh, it didn't take the name. Why didn't it take the name? But anyhow, this was the uh, the Jackal's um, uh, blowtorch. And that's the Jackal's pick over there. Right? <laughs> but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will talk to you in the next episode.